have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness the bold and the beautiful suppose revealed that the battle between Brooke and Taylor may not be over when there are many things going on between the two women. Leaving aside the competition for Ridge, they are now more interested in helping their children gain custody of Douglas. Brooke, because she didn't want to see her daughter, hoped to stride and upset at the possibility of losing Douglas, went to find Taylor to dispute. Brooke thinks that because Taylor doesn't have Ridge, she feels jealous that she entices Thomas to claim Douglas, causing her daughter to suffer, because she can't do anything about it. Moreover, Thomas was psychologically affected, still drowning in the pain of losing Caroline. Certainly still, they didn't think about coming to claim Douglas. Now Brooke is putting all the blame on Taylor. Taylor can't understand why Brooke would think like that. In the first place, Taylor didn't want to fight, but now because of Brooke's words, they make her think again. On the other hand, because she could not give up Finn, her only hope knew. Therefore, she let sneak Deke into the hospital every day so she could watch Finn from afar. It can be seen that no matter how cruel Sheila is, she's also a very loving mother to her children. In fact, Sheila is also a poor woman who lost her husband and is now abandoned by and hated by her son and grandson. But no matter how pitiful, the crimes could not be covered by that pitifulness. If Sheila was an ordinary woman taking care of her son and loving her daughter-in-law in every day way, she would not have become like that now. Most run away from the police chase and do everything to be able to escape. Even if Sheila comes back now, to beg for forgiveness, it will be difficult for anyone to forgive and accept her back. She has to go to prison to be able to pay the price for the evil she's done. Besides, although Katie is Bill's ex-wife, Bill still maintains a good relationship with his ex-wife's family. It had been a while since Bill had seen Grace, so he asked her to have dinner together. Bill told everything that happened recently, how he saved Lee's life and helped him reunite with Steffi. Bill also confided to Grace that he had found the love of his life, which is Lee. Lee made Bill realize how love is, and he also wanted to move into a serious relationship with Lee. Bill asked Grace how she should get Lee's sympathy, but will Grace help Bill? Or is she still hoping that Bill and Katie are her daughters?